Right now, the day's biggest news stories from the biggest perspective. This is the Vegas Take with Sharp and Shapiro. All right, welcome back. Rolling out hour number two. It is the Vegas Take. Sharp and Shapiro. Emotions very high here in the studio. And, so high. Uh, and, and taking your calls, too, at 257 257- Five three nine six. Uh, by the way, a lot to get to here in the next couple hours. The Hollywood conservative Mr. X will be joining us at the bottom of the hour, and I am really looking forward to catching up with a legend. Jose Canseco will be joining us. And by the way, my old 04 Hyundai Elantra could have used a new car wash. Jose Canseco opening up a new car wash in Vegas. Uh, luckily, I have a new car, uh, but eventually I will need that car wash done. What better place to get it than Jose Canseco's car wash, right? Mr. I'm a very sensitive man, okay? I'm very sensitive to these types of things. Okay, let's get serious. Brian, your, your car is a your car was a piece of garbage and may have reflected your earning power. Should I be fired for okay. making that statement? You're fired too. All right, so <laughs> I wanted to give you a chance to continue this conversation, and then I want to talk a little bit about Elizabeth Warren, how I'm comparing her to Hillary Clinton uh, in, in not a positive light, by the way. But before we get to this Elizabeth Warren story, yes, we were talking about this guy Warren Hurst who described Pete Buttigieg as a queer, this is a county commissioner in Tennessee. I find it to be completely inappropriate. Uh, so what did you want to add to this, J.D.? You wanted to add a little bit to this story. Well, I think that in the case of the, the, the Warren Hurst situation in Tennessee, it, it was a very racist state. It was a very uh, homophobic. I mean, you know, for, the, for hundreds of, or not hundreds of, but 50 to 60 years, I mean, most of the ancestors, people that, that were at that, that meeting, I, th- I think it's just a matter of, of ignorance. I think that in a, in a place like that, it just comes down to not really understanding other cultures and being, being aware and being well-rounded of how people are. So you think it is your position that you think there are people out there that don't understand that calling somebody a queer that is gay. I think that it's been socially acceptable in their circles for years and years. And obviously that shouldn't be the case, but it is. So – just because in their family it might be socially acceptable not, to not, say I mean, something not, not racist. Just, not, not, just their, not just their family, but also their, their community. You think there are communities where it's socially acceptable to call somebody a racist well, term? Well, no, not racist. I'm talking about the, the word queer. In, in that situation, obviously it was socially acceptable. People were, people were clapping at that particular event, Brian. So they, they were in support of what he said. Okay, so now would he say should that? Should we not punish would, them for he, that? No. What would he say that in California? Would he say that? In, define punish. What I'm saying is, I think that people are offended by literally anything these days, and whether it's said at but work, that's not what or I'm on, talking or about. on social media. But that's what I'm talking about, or, or, or on social media, or even in a just in, in a standard public that's setting. A different scenario. Does that mean? Does that mean that you should lose your ability to have a job? Can't answer and, and, that question. And, and the question is, what, say, say once you're once you're fired for doing something like that, right? For for making a homophobic remark or making a racist remark. And I'm not talking about consistent harassment, trying to you know to hurt someone else. I'm saying a a, a once a, a a single mistake. Every situation is different, right, and you're but, not but, being but, specific. No, but but when you're when you're fired for something like that, for something that, like what? For whatever. You're not it is. being specific. For for, for offending someone. Obviously, the, for saying what? Obviously, using the N word in a work setting is that's is a like, fireable offense. Of course, I totally okay, agree. Okay, so give me but, another but example. But I'm saying there's a lot of situations these days where people are are fired from their jobs for making a mistake. I don't know what you're talking and about, I don't, and I don't. I don't believe that that punishment is necessary. I don't know what situation you're talking. Every situation's different. I totally agree with that. Too, I don't. Brian. You have to add, tell me what. Certain, I'm sure there are some circumstances out there where people shouldn't be fired. Uh, and, and what say say someone offends me? Say someone calls me. Can uh, I just say uh, this real a, quick? A derogatory we have Mike term. Ba- Hold on, this is a perfect example of what okay. you're talking about. We have Van Mike. Ba- we have Mike Babcock on TMZ Sports that is joining us tomorrow. His coworker was fired on TMZ. Uh, Van Van is his name, correct? So we'll talk. To, Van Lathan, so yeah. we're going to talk to Mike Babcock about that tomorrow. This is a perfect example where we can continue this conversation tomorrow. Uh, this is, uh, you know, somebody white, somebody African American. The right. African American was fired. We'll find out right. about but it. But what I'm saying is, if someone offended me, I wouldn't try to get them fired. Now, if, depends if, if, what they said. If, even no, I mean, for so me, if somebody for, for in me, the workplace said they wanted to rape your wife, you okay, wouldn't have a problem with getting them fired. That's a crime, Brian. Uh, well, it, no, that, that that is a crime. Of course, I would okay, want that person. Okay, so there fired. are levels of things that but somebody could say that you would want them fired. So don't make that statement. There, there are things that aren't crimes that people can say or that people say to other people that offend them for whatever reason, and they lose their jobs over. What I'm saying is, if someone offended me, 
I wouldn't I wouldn't request them to be fired because in that case, just because I'm offended, you should lose your ability to have a to to, to make money. What if you have if a family? What, what, said, what if your college costs? I mean, I'm just saying. I, I I don't value myself over over someone enough. All right. Because I and, I, and, I, and I'm, I have thicker skin than that to say, hey, you should lose your job because you offended me. Okay. And well, I if think somebody that, made I, sexual I, I think that remarks, is re, I think that is ridiculous. If somebody made sexual remarks about a member of your family, if somebody made remarks about your religion and disparaged you or a member of your family because of their sexuality, okay, we if, disagree. If, if, if someone made remarks about my religion. I would absolutely not want – I mean, I, okay. I would not well, request that they were fired. Well, that, well, that's you. I disagree with you 150%. If somebody disparaged me because of my religion, I would absolutely 100% want them fired because it's nasty, it's mean, uh, okay. it's and, hateful, and, so you, and you it would, has no business you would request, in society. You would request – that they don't have a they, they don't have a livelihood uh, that, I, that they not be able to work to feed their okay. families. I didn't say that. Because I didn't say they, livelihood. Because they offended. First of all, well, of course, that. they, that's their job, right? Okay. That's that's their livelihood. So let me explain so because you what they, I would because want. Because they offended you, they can't I'm, have a life. I'm I'm going to explain I mean, to you. That, that that's what it comes down to, Brian. I'm going to explain to you the way I would I would uh, handle that situation. Okay. If somebody went up to me in the workplace and said something negative about my religion and attacked me based on my religion, here's the way I would handle that. I would speak to my supervisor. I would speak to my boss. I would want to get uh, to find out exactly how serious this is. And if that person got suspended and did not apologize to me and was not sorry for what he or she said, then yes, I would want them fired. If they went into an office with my boss and said, I'm really sorry. I had a really bad day. It doesn't excuse my actions. I should have never said those things to you. It's not how I feel. It's not who I am. If it was a sincere apology, I would say, okay, you want to suspend him for a week or something, fine. I don't believe that person should be fired. But guess what? In the workplace, many of these businesses are afraid of lawsuits. Many of these businesses, sec- whether it's a sexual harassment lawsuit or any type of lawsuit. And we we okay? live in a very, very litigious society. Well, you know what? Then if we live in that type of society, then people need to be smart enough to know that, especially in the workplace, you can't say things like that if you disagree with one's lifestyle. You can't call somebody a queer just because you don't like the fact that they're gay or you might not li- like their policies okay, politically. And, and, and I, you I, can't do that stuff. I, I agree with that, but should that result in you losing your life? I just gave you an example and I just told you the way or, or should it. it result in some type of I just, education? I just I just told you the way I think I would have handled that situation, and I can only speak for myself. Uh, all right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, Elizabeth Warren on a stage with a special needs student. Remember, Elizabeth Warren worked with special needs kids, but boy, did she handle this situation the wrong way, and it makes her look really, really bad. We have the audio to prove it. We'll explain what we're talking about coming up next. <laughs> All right, welcome back. It is the Vegas Take. Sharp and Shapiro coming up here in just a few minutes. The Hollywood conservative, Mr. X, will be joining us. Longtime Hollywood producer and a Trump supporter, so we'd like to get his perspective. The legend himself, Jose Canseco, will be joining us in the 11 a.m. hour. I want to start uh, this topic with Elizabeth Warren because, as you know, Elizabeth Warren has a history of working with, you know, kids, special needs kids, right? She talks about it all the time in her speeches. Well, here's a situation where she uncomfortably addresses a special needs student uh let me just it, it was at a rally event a student rally event where somebody won a chance to get up on stage and ask elizabeth warren a question well it just so happens the student that was uh called on stage happens to be a special needs to- student i want to play this interaction hi what's your name ahmad Clarkson. it's nice to meet you ahmad do you have a question yeah what would you like to ask so from my survivors who am I about to be the best chosen one who has ever made? Can you say it again? Who am I about to be the chosen one? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, first of all, this young man was very brave to get up there on the stage. This is a special needs student. So he had a little bit of problems, you know, putting a few sentences together, which is totally understandable. This is a woman... Elizabeth Warren, who prides herself in every speech and talking about dealing with special needs students. Keep in mind, this woman, Elizabeth Warren, she didn't hug this student. She didn't come over and, and give him a hug or, say, or or just, you know, maybe ask him a simple question like, where are you from? You know, how old are you? She could have handled that situation. What does she do? She kind of shrugs him off. I don't know what that kid was trying to ask. I feel sorry for him, but I think he's a very brave young man to go up on that stage. What does she do? Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah, that's what she does. I mean, 
This is a Hillary Clinton moment, okay? And here's what I mean by that. And I've said this for years. I've compared Elizabeth Warren to Hillary Clinton. I don't like Elizabeth Warren. I don't like Hillary Clinton for one main reason. I think they are both phony, okay? They don't resonate with people. It's the reason why Hillary Clinton was a bad candidate and she didn't win in 2016 and I would ne- didn't vote for her then and I wouldn't vote for her in 2020. I find Elizabeth Warren to be a phony. She talked about her heritage, about her descent. That was stupid. That was wrong. Oops. She apologized for that. She handled this situation, J.D., so poorly. So poorly. I, mean, I guess I'm, I'm. What should she have done, Brian? I mean, I'm not an Elizabeth Warren well, supporter. I, well, I, I, but I, I feel like the audio is just not doing this justice. I feel like watching the video. So you're defending Elizabeth. I'm, Warren. I'm not okay. defending okay. Elizabeth Warren. I'm so, saying I'm saying watching the video will probably, probably make it seem more, well, much worse than it, well, than it sounds. I did watch the video. You didn't. I did, I I did. not watch the video. Okay. That's right. I did watch the video. She was in a way dismissive. Now this is someone who talks every day practically about how she worked with special needs kids. So this is someone who knows how to. You would think, right? Knows how to you're, deal with special needs kids. You're saying it proves her to be a phony or a fraud. Okay. Well, you asked me a question, though. Yes. In a sense, yes. But you asked me a question. How should she have handled that? Listen, I'm not a specialist when it comes to special needs. How about going over to that young man? She was about 15 feet away from him. How about going over to that young man, get, shaking his hand at the very least? How about giving him a hug? How about asking him a question that he could answer? Hey, what's your favorite color? Hey, what do you want to do when, you know, after school? Hey, you know, where are you from? So that he could engage her in some way. Instead, what does she do? She dismisses his question. Okay. Right? That's what she said. Okay. 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 Yeah. Th- that sounds dismissive to me. Okay. And okay. And- but, but, but didn't she ask him to repeat it? Uh, she didn't ask him to repeat it. If you go back to the audio, it was the student, the other student on stage that asked him to repeat okay. it. So she didn't even ask him to repeat it. She's got this weird look on her face. Right? That was dismissive. And again... If she didn't talk about how she was a special needs teacher all the time in every speech, then maybe I wouldn't be as harsh on her. But the fact that she prides herself in this. So you're saying that she didn't act like a special needs I'm teacher. T- I'm telling would, you. Would, would typically act. I'm telling you. Despite the right. fact that she has touted that since she started this, this election process. For or years. since she, she's even been in, since she's been in, in, office. in any type of office. And she didn't behave the way that you thought she should behave. I don't, have, I don't have a huge problem with what I just heard, but again, I have not seen the video. Okay, but here's the thing. I mean, either way, she, not... she had a special needs student on a major platform on, on a national stage, and he said what he had to say, and obviously she didn't understand it, but I, I didn't really understand it either. But again, I, I'll have to watch the video, it's not an so, issue. so it's much more clear to me. It's not an issue of whether she understood it or you understood it or not. I didn't either. The issue is this. I'm not a special needs teacher. I don't have that sort of experience. Uh, are you sure? But I'm telling you, in that specific situation, if I'm on stage with somebody like that, I'm going to shake that young man's hand. I'm going to smile. I'm going to say, thank you so much. You're very brave. And maybe I'll ask him a question or two that he can answer. Uh, something that you would ask someone, you know, with special needs. Uh, something very simple. So, so when you critique a situation like this, you look at it and you go, what would Brian do? And you think about what would Brian do, and then since Elizabeth Warren didn't do what Brian does, no, you have it's an issue not with just it. it's not just about what I would do. It's about what a special needs teacher would do. And I can guarantee you, JD, and this is just logical. I can guarantee you that if you speak to a special needs teacher in that circumstance, every single one of them will agree that she did not handle it in the way that she should have. And I guarantee you, if we had so, and you know what, if we have somebody that deals with special needs kids, give us a call right now. I would love to hear from you. Maybe you have a child that's a special needs, uh, you know, student. And I, I guarantee you, if we had Ron Futro on, he has a child that he has special needs. Anybody wants to call in? How do you think Elizabeth Warren handled that situation? Great. Maybe you don't even work with special needs kids. Two five seven five three nine six seven zero two. 257-5396 is the number to call, and it is my personal opinion, the same reason why Hillary Clinton did not win the election, the same reason why Elizabeth Warren won't win the elections, it's because of moments like this. I believe Elizabeth Warren is a phony. I think she's fake. I don't think she resonates with people that are undecided. Look, if she runs against Donald Trump, if you're a Donald Trump hater, listen, I'm a Donald Trump hater, but I can tell you right now, I would not vote for Elizabeth Warren because I don't like her. I don't trust her. Just the same reason why I didn't vote for Hillary Clinton. Don't like her. I don't trust her. 
I don't want her to get back into the race. I think she's bad for Democrats. I think she's bad for the country, just like I think Donald Trump is bad for the country. I wouldn't vote for her. I wouldn't vote for Elizabeth Warren. But there are a few people on that Democratic stage that I would vote for. But it's not Elizabeth Warren and it's not Joe Biden. So which which Democrats would you vote over Donald Trump? Right now, I would say 100 percent Pete Buttigieg. Uh, I respect him a great deal. I think he's extremely intelligent and well-spoken. You could say he lacks a little bit in the experience category, but I think he would bring respect back to the country. I would absolutely 100% vote for her. I don't know if I would vote for Kamala Harris. I don't know, uh, but I respect her a great deal. Would you vote for Andrew Yang? <sighs> Probably not, but I do respect him a lot. Would you vote for Tulsi Gabbard? Uh, absolutely 100% no. No chance would I ever vote for her. She might be nice to look at, but I think uh, the fact that she couldn't even say that Assad was a killer, that was a war criminal, uh, I, I appreciate the fact that she is, you know, she, she served our country honorably. I have tremendous amount of respect for her or anybody like her. But but with that being said, I, I think she's so, so your thoughts, extremely disrespectful. Your, your thoughts on her are comparable to Trump not going after Putin? You think that the tr- the relationship with, with Trump and Putin is yeah. the same as Assad to a, and Tulsi Gabbard? To a, to a sense, yes, I agree. I, I, I think she's an absolute coward when it comes to not being able to— Look, she served our country honorably. Right. I hate calling somebody wh- wh- like that a coward. Which means she's she's complicit or she's in his pocket yes. or she's got a favor or Correct. something along the lines. Correct, okay. 100%. And that's, that's why I would not vote for her. I think we're going to try to squeeze in one quick phone call here before we go to break. Why don't we go to Anthony. Anthony, I got about a minute for you. Go ahead. What's up, hey, Anthony? I got to disagree with you 100%. You're telling me a former Secretary of State with a 67% approval rating and a former senator with a 60% approval rating shouldn't be president of the United States in Hillary Clinton. Are you kidding me? Are you serious? So you're saying I don't have a right to my opinion because she was Secretary of State? I'm trying to understand your position. No, that the woman is well qualified, eminently Then why didn't she win? Then why didn't she win? Well, the woman was robbed. You know, she, give me a break. She was robbed. What do you mean she was robbed? Now. What do you mean Over. she was robbed? What do you mean she was I, robbed? I think that with with them still in votes, she lost by what fifteen thousand votes in three states, mm-hmm. in which they threw out five five hundred thousand in Pennsylvania. Okay, Anthony. Twenty four thousand in Wisconsin. Anthony, if she was a great candidate, it wouldn't yes. have been that close. Can't you admit that? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I, I admit that people didn't like her. OK, she, well, she's not. A, there you go. She doesn't resonate with middle America. If she did, it wouldn't have been that close and she would have defeated Donald Trump by a landslide. The bottom line is, Anthony, you know how much I can't stand Donald Trump, but I'm always going right. to be on. I'm, uh, Anthony, I'm up against a hard break, so uh, I'm sorry I got to let you go. But the, uh, the bottom line is, is that if she resonated with middle America, she would have killed Donald Trump. Donald Trump destroyed her in the debates, in my personal opinion. She was weak in the debates. She does not resonate with middle America, and we got to go to break. But I am not going to sit here and defend Hillary Clinton and say I support her because she was Secretary of State. Would I ever vote for Jared Kushner? Hell no. Absolutely not. So why should I vote for Hillary Clinton because she's Secretary of State? Take a quick break. Be back right after this.